Hi, Troy Funk here, licensed real estate broker in the state of Florida. Today, I am real excited to show you one of the most beautiful places in the world, Lido Key. And I'm gonna give you a perspective of this island from my bare feet walking down the beach to show you what's possible to stay here. Whether you're looking to uh, stay here just for the day, you wanna visit for the week, live here during season, or live here in paradise the rest of your life. Lido Key Beach Walk, right after this message. Mm -hmm. So we start our journey at Ted Sperling Park, otherwise known as South Lido. Now, there are some requirements. Number one, find a pair of good sunglasses. And number two, ditch the shoes and go barefoot because the sand is cool, the water is warm, the air is fresh, and this is just a fun way to enjoy life at its best. Now, Ted Sperling Park is a 100-acre park that um, encompasses a lot of fun things. It's on a peninsula, so you can walk around the beach and on your journey, you'll often see uh, dolphins. Sometimes you'll find a manatee out in the water. You'll certainly see lots of fish and, and without a doubt, there's lots of shells to explore. The sand is fun to play in because it is so cool and during the summer, the water is warm. It's absolutely paradise. Now the park itself is also a good place to just come for the day because you can you can bring some food have a little bit of a, a picnic uh, there's grills that go that are scattered throughout the park and there's also a little playground for the kids public restrooms but what's what i like most about the park is there's miles of walking trails that take you on uh, a journey and it will it will take you through and show you the lake in the middle of the park, which you can access from uh, north, a little north of here at the kayak launch at Ted Sperling Park. And you can kayak into the mangroves and see crabs and see all the beauty of nature from this location. So Ted Sperling Park is certainly a magical spot uh, that you can come for the day. Now, we're gonna continue our journey and go up the island and see what's possible to stay here. If you wanna spend an overnight, either one night, a week, season, or live here all year long in paradise on Lido Key. Now, the first building just north of Ted Sperling Park is Sarasota Sands. Now, Sarasota Sands is a timeshare and it's one of three timeshares on the beach on Lido Key. Now, this building was built in 1959 and they have uh, arrangements from studios to two bedroom units that can be purchased by the week as a timeshare. Yet they also rent these buildings out. So you can rent a timeshare here and with a two week notice, you're able to uh, stay here from a minimum of three days. So this is a good possibility for a short term rental period, whether you are looking to buy a timeshare or just wanna stay here for a few days. Um, this is Sarasota Sands Timeshare. Now the building adjacent to Sarasota Sands is Lido Harbor South. Now Lido Harbor South is a private condominium complex built in 1968. There are 69 units in this uh, condominium and the rental restrictions currently state that you can rent two times a year at a minimum of two months. Now understand rental restrictions are subject to change. So if that's something that's important to you in making an investment, certainly contact me and I'll give you updated information as life's a moving target and information is certainly subject to change. But renting a property out is certainly a big uh, important component in buying an investment. A lot of owners want to buy an investment on the sand and yet they want the opportunity to also rent that property out for income when they're not here. So understanding rental restrictions when you make an investment is important. So let's, let's continue our journey to the next building. Adjacent to uh, Lido Harbor South is the Orchid Beach Club condominium, condominium. And this is a gem. This, is, this building was built in 2005. Uh, there are 54 units. You can rent this building out two times a year, minimum of three months. Now this condominium 
is uh, on the upper scale of Lido Key. Uh, it is gated, um, it is guarded, and um, it's, like I said, it, the price point is also at the higher scale. So this is, this is uh, one of the most luxurious condominiums on Lido Key. Now adjacent to Orchid Beach Club is First Lido. Now First Lido was originally built in 1967 and what's unique about this condominium is that it the front part that borders Ben Franklin the units are actually paired villas. So this gives a buyer an opportunity to actually have a ground floor villa that they can walk out and uh, walk through their development and touch sand. Uh, the building that we see behind us is one of the towers of First Lido, but the uh, rental restrictions here are two times a year, minimum one month. This is a good opportunity uh, to actually own a villa or a uh, live in one of the towers right on the beach on Lido Key. Adjacent to First Lido is La Elegance on the beach condominium, and this is the uh, at the top of the tier of residents on Lido Key. This building was built in 1996. There's 105 units. Uh, the, rental, the rental restrictions are a minimum of three months, two times a year. And of course, this is a private condominium. Uh, it is gated, it is guarded, it is at the top of the price point, uh, and it's also at the uh, top of the scale for luxury in amenities and uh, style and everything else that uh, Money, if money is no object, this is one to look at. <laughs> but while we're here, I want to give you a little little tour of just, just where we are. So there's La Elegance. And as I spin around, you can just see that we have an absolutely beautiful day here. Uh, the water is surreal. It's peaceful. There are some fishermen out there. There's a few people out just walking the beach. But this is mid-morning on a Friday and gives you an example of how peaceful and surreal this is. So here we are, and I'm going to continue the journey onto the building adjacent to La Elegance. Adjacent to La Elegance is the building, is a condominium of Lido Harbor Towers. Now this building was built in 1970. There's approximately 42 units. You can rent this building. You can rent your unit out a minimum of two times a year uh, with a one month minimum per lease. So that's a great investment opportunity uh, on Lido Key. Adjacent to Lido Harbor Towers is Key Tower South. Now this development was built in, or this condominium, should I say, was built in 1970. Uh, it has 13 stories. You can rent this unit out two times a year with a one month rental. That is Key Tower South. Adjacent to Key Tower South is the building of the Lido Regency. The Lido Regency is also a private condominium. It was built in 1968. It has approximately 86 units in there. You can rent in there two times a year, minimum of 60 days. Now, I recently had a sale in there, and I do know that there's flexibility sometimes when you move into a building and you get to know the board, and you know, depending on what you need um, and who your friends are, <laughs> Sometimes those restrictions are uh, 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 negotiable. But uh, Lido Regency is actually a real gem because a lot of people think, well, you know, what's, what happens when I, build a, when I buy a condo of 19, that was built in 1968? It must be very outdated. Well, they've done a lot of, mo they put a lot of money into remodeling the lobby of this building and it's absolutely beautiful. So sometimes, you know, overlooking those opportunities, it's worth exploring to see what, what they actually look like inside. This is a really nice building um, on the beach, um, you know, on Lido Key. That's Lido Regency. Now adjacent to the Lido Regency is the Sandcastle Hotel. Now this is one of the older structures on the beach. Now this is currently a three-star hotel and uh, you can, you can kind of get a flavor of the building just going online. If you're looking to stay there for the day, that's an, certainly an option. Um, and this is more at the entry level accommodations point, price point to get on Lido Key for a day. Now, what's interesting about this whole property is it's slated to be torn down. <laughs> the real estate is too valuable. And I've seen the rendition of what's coming or what could be coming, and it's colossal. It's going to 
um, add a tremendous amount of value to this island uh, with especially more on the luxury luxury scale so that is uh, the sandcastle hotel yet if you're interested you need to make reservations quickly because it is slated to be torn down at some point and something new is coming up that's going to be quite colossal so that is the sandcastle hotel on Lido Key. Adjacent to the Sandcastle Hotel is the Mark Twain building. Now this is a private condominium built in 1968. There are only 14 units in the building and you can see it's only two levels. Now this one's a gem. Uh, very rarely do you ever see a condominium ever con come on the market here. Um, I did sell one at one point and um, I represented the seller and the buyer and the buyer said, Troy, I feel like I won the lottery in buying this condominium. I will never sell it. I'm gonna keep it forever and pass it on to my family. So the Mark Twain building uh, is unique because it is ground, it's pretty much ground floor, just two buildings, uh, low density for the area that it has. And um, it is a private condominium. Now what's neat about that also is adjacent to that is the uh, Lido Key Tiki Club. Now there's a public access that takes you to this Tiki Club and this is open to the public. So this is typically open from 11 till sunset. It's a nice place to get a drink, um, get a little light bite and enjoy the Lido Beach. So uh, even though there's public access, it's hard to find parking on that side, but most of your audience, I would say for the Tiki uh, Club, or should I say the Tiki Bar, is coming from the beach. So in conclusion, that's the Mark Twain building next to the Lido Tiki Bar. Now adjacent to the Lido Key Tiki Bar is the Ritz-Carlton Beach Club Resort. Now this resort is part of the Ritz-Carlton in downtown Sarasota. So uh, residents that rent a or get a room at the Ritz-Carlton also have access to the beach resort here. Uh, this is certainly at the top tier of uh, luxury and price for Lido. Uh, there are condominiums you can buy. There are 88 units. Um, you can rent when you buy a unit in here. Uh, the rental restrictions are one month minimum, three times a year. Uh, the price point um, starts from the multi-millions uh, to buy a unit here at the Ritz-Carlton Beach Club Resort. So immediately north of the Ritz-Carlton, adjacent to that is the Lido Beach Club. And the Lido Beach Club is a private condominium that was built in 1974. There are approximately 108 units. You can rent those when you buy them uh, two times a year with a minimum of three months. That is the Lido Beach Club. <clears throat> now adjacent north of the Lido Beach Club is this abandoned building. This was formerly known as the Sun and Surf Colony. It was built in 1949. Um, it's not in operation right now. Uh, I did a little bit of Google research and it kind of talked about that the family owns this property. They've been offered uh, lots of money consistently by developers that want to take this property and make it something else. And the owners are holding out <laughs> and they want to keep, they actually it says that they want to give it to their grandkids. So nothing's happening on this property at this point, but certainly it's a valuable piece of real estate. Now ad adjacent to that is the Lido Surf and Sand. Now that is a private condominium. It was built in 1978. There's approximately 105 units. The rental restrictions are that you can rent two times a year with a minimum of two months. As you can see that's an absolutely beautiful building. And just to give you some perspective again of the beach, this is what paradise looks like when you have a property on the beach on Lido Key. Now the building immediately adjacent to the Lido Surf and Sand is Lime Tree. And Lime Tree is another timeshare opportunity here on Lido Key. Uh, with a timeshare you purchase, you have the option to purchase a week uh, and you own that property for one week out of the year. And you pay taxes and maintenance fees and condo fees just like you would any other property. Um, but obviously when you're buying just one segment of a, of a property, you're paying a lot more for that week than if you were to actually buy the condominium and rent it out yourself. Um, and, and of course, appreciation and, and everything else has a lot more impact on it. So 
typically timeshares have not been uh, a great investment. It's been more of a lifestyle choice. But of course, investments are always subjective. But this is uh, uh, known as Lime Tree. It's an opportunity to own a timeshare or potentially rent here as a tenant looking to stay on Lido Key, Lime Tree. So immediately north of Lime Tree is the Coquina on the Beach and also Gulf Beach Resort Motel. These are three star hotels. It's an opportunity to stay on Lido Key um, entry level um, and stay here for a minimum of one day. So these are hotels right on Lido Key. Now adjacent to the hotels is the Sun Island Beach Club. This is another timeshare. It's the third one that I had mentioned on Lido Beach. So that's another timeshare. And adjacent to that is the Lido Ambassador. The Lido Ambassador is a condominium. It was built in 1978 and it has approximately 74 units. Uh, the minimum restrictions are six months, two times a year. So that you can see that's actually a, a very beautiful building. It's a condominium right on the sand on Lido Beach. Now immediately north of the Lido Ambassador is the Lido Beach Resort. And this is a real special place to come and uh, it is open uh, to the public as far as there's a restaurant on top called the Drift Restaurant. And that's a nice place to bring somebody special that you love and take them up there and buy them a drink <laughs> and watch sunset. Um, that's a that's a unique opportunity. There is a little tiki bar here. This is uh, designed for those that have that want to stay the day. Uh, the pools. Uh, it's very kid friendly. It's actually pet friendly as well. There's a little area to bring your pet. So this is the Lido uh, Beach Resort. This is actually the last structure before the Lido Pavilion. So we're going to conclude our tour at the Lido Pavilion, which is actually open to the public. This is the Lido public beach access area, uh, which is pretty much on the center of the island. And I've taken you from a journey all the way from South Lido walking up to this space. Now this pavilion is interesting because the, the history here was that this was actually the site of the Lido Beach Casino, which was a certainly a big deal in its day <laughs> and um, was all part of John Ringling's plan to uh, develop Sarasota to become the city that it is today. Now this pavilion, which is fun, uh, there is a public pool area, there is a tiki bar that's open, and there's also a concession stand for food. And uh, this will lead you right out to Lido. Now, I started this, I talked about Lido being one of the most beautiful places in the world. And there's no doubt that Siesta Key gets a lot of attention for being the most beautiful beach in the world. And this is true. I think that is uh, not discounting Siesta Key. I love Siesta Key, but Lido Key has its own vibe and its own energy. And because Siesta gets so much attention being Siesta, uh, Lido gets overlooked, which can actually be a good thing because it's very peaceful here. It's more quiet, more surreal. As I said, it has a different energy base and uh, I'm a big fan of Lido. One more thing before I close is just the proximity to St. Armand's Circle. We're just a couple blocks away from an abundance of shops and restaurants and, and fun things. So staying on Lido gives you a lifestyle that uh, is certainly one of the best. And uh, if you've liked this video, please hit the like button and certainly hit the subscribe button. Uh, there are other condominiums on Lido Key but the ones that I covered are, are condos that are on the sand. Uh, some of the other th the opportunities are, are condominiums that are either across the street from the beach or they're on the island. They are not directly on the sand. So again, I'm Troy Funk. I look forward to helping you on your journey. If I can be of any help to you, please reach out to me. And again, thank you for your time today. And I wish you well and hope to see you someday on Lido Beach. Bye.